Today we'll look at the issue of blurry fonts on Windows 10 and how to solve the issue. Now sometimes you can experience blurry fonts, maybe you've changed your display or your display settings have changed. You may have issues with the blurry fonts across Windows 10 or it could be on a specific program. There could be many reasons for this, compatibility etc. So if your Windows issue, if the blurry issue on your Windows 10 machine is across Windows 10 generally, we're going to look at some fixes for that initially. However, if it's a specific app or program where you're experiencing this issue, this issue, then we look at a solution for this later on in the video. But this video assumes you're running the latest version of Windows and we are using a single display today. But before we jump into the detail, if you're new to this channel and you want to see other computer or PC related videos like this, which help answer and solve your tech related questions, start now by subscribing to our channel. Okay, so let's dive into the detail right now and look at this issue of blurry fonts on Windows 10 and how to fix the issue. So if you've got an issue with blurry fonts across Windows 10, we're going to look at five settings which could actually help improve this issue. So we're going to look at those in a moment. But if it's actually a specific app or program where you're experiencing blurry fonts, then basically if you skip to the timestamp on the screen now and we look at that in detail. But now let's look at the five different settings initially, which should hopefully rectify if you've got an issue with blurry fonts across Windows 10. So the first one we're going to look at something called clear type text. So if you go down to the bottom left of your search bar and you type in clear type and it says adjust to clear type text. So what you need to do is this tuner helps make the text on your screen easier to read. So make sure that it is actually turned on and it makes it, if you like, the text you see on screen sharper and clearer as well as easier to read. So just make sure that's toggled on and just follow the steps through. It makes sure the monitor is set to its native resolution, which it is, and then just keep selecting the text sample that looks best to you accordingly. So that one's clearer to us. Bearing in mind, it will depend on the user as to which ones are clearer or less clear. Okay, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. No, that one is the bottom right and the bottom right for that one as well. And you've finished tuning your text bit on your monitor. So when that's done, if you click on that, now you might, might want to check the sort of the text if it's any clearer for you at that point. But we're going to move on to the second point now, which is looking at fixing furry, uh, blurry fonts. So if you go into the search bar again and type in advanced, I can't type today, advanced scaling. If you click on fix apps that are blurry, now <clears throat> fix scaling for apps. It says some desktop apps might look blurry when your display settings change. Windows could try to fix these so they look better when you open them the next time. It only works for apps on your main display and won't work for all apps. So just let Windows try to fix apps so they're not blurry. So make sure that is toggled on. Okay. Now you can go for custom scaling if you want to. I tend not to touch this you can experiment with it but I tend not to touch it it's not recommended so it's not something I've ever looked at but that is an option as well but it might be hard to get back to your original settings which is the reason I don't sort of touch that okay so there's the second point now the third one is checking if your Windows machine is set up for performance or sort of quality of the fonts and apps etc in terms of their look so the next one if you gain the search bar at the bottom if you type in performance and what you want to select is adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Now, ours is currently set for adjust best performance. Okay, so it's going to sort of minimize anything that happens, like, for example, smooth edges of screen fonts, for example, um, thumbnails instead of icons, etc. So if it's adjust for best performance and you want to try and help improve blurry fonts, just select adjust for best appearance, apply that. Okay, it'll take a couple of moments to come into effect. Uh, just one thing to point out on here, you can also go to, for custom as well, where you, you can sort of uncheck and check accordingly. But I tend to adjust for best before appearance, should I say. If you apply those changes and press OK. And then the final two we're looking at is related to display settings, okay? If the problem is generally across Windows 10 with blurry fonts. So if you type in display, change the resolution of the display, and just make sure that the scale and layout, so the size of text, apps and other items is 100% is recommended. And the display resolution is set to the correct resolution, uh, recommended resolution as well. Otherwise that can cause issues with blurry fonts on screen. Okay, 
and hopefully now that should rectify your problem problem if the issue is generally across windows 10 if it's on a specific app i'm going to just go ahead and show you that now so basically if a specific app or program's got blurry fonts you can help do this to rectify the situation so if you go into google chrome for example in our case we're going to select the icon right click it go into properties now if you check the compatibility tab here and then go down to change high dpi settings okay so program dpi it uses setting to fix scaling problems with this program instead of one in settings so you can go ahead and tick that so a program might uh, look blurry if the dpi for your main display changes after you sign into windows so windows can try and fix this scaling problem by using the dpi that's set for your main display when you open this program so you can make the changes to the setting there accordingly okay so you can either select that as use the dpi that's set for my main display when i signed into windows or when i open this window okay so it's entirely up to you which one you select there the other one i suggest ticking is high dpi scaling override so basically if you check that and make sure it says application there okay hopefully that should then make your specific app or your program look a lot better in terms of its appearance i put together some other pc or computer related videos for you including how to change the font size on windows 10. you can click on the links appearing on screen now but many thanks for watching our video today on the issue of blurry fonts on Windows 10 and how to solve the matter. We'll see you on the next video.